Beach brand. And a great play by Alvin Gentry coming out of the timeout, Kevin. And just get that, take advantage of that size of Pat Garrity trying to defend Brand on the block. Orlando shooting 46% as McGrady connects, and he's got his first two. Their interior, or lack of interior defense, and uh, Tracy's got to step up his defensive game and become more complete for this team to move on in the playoffs. Kemp with the rebound, ends up in a three from McGrady, who buries it from outside. That is the game's first three-point shot as you take a look at Doc Rivers, the coach of the Orlando defense from Hill. And outside, Andre Miller with the miss, and here comes Tracy McGrady. Magic have to identify some aspects of getting the ball inside and getting some inside offense. That's a great shot, but they definitely have to get somebody that's able to do it. And Doc was extremely complimentary of him when we talked to Doc, so he must be trying to do the right thing. He's complimentary because he's playing well. He's making shots, and he's working hard, and he's working on his game. McGrady has just hit his third three-point shot of this game. He's got a game. got to make the pass inside or make the pass to somebody who's open on the outside. Here comes McGrady, who is 4 of 11. Down the lane, McGrady flies into Brand, and going backwards, he's got 17. And that was a great play by ending all the things that, that Elgin Baylor has done for this team. The things I like most are getting quality people and players like Andre Miller and Elton Brand. Uh, that's better than all the drafts. It's easy to draft because you're drafting 1, 2, 3 every year. McGrady, John just has such great quicks inside, and that time he showed it by two Clipper defenders. You see McCready shooting five three-point shots, and why is he staying outside on the perimeter? Because any time he gets inside about 17 feet, there's two people at least coming to him. McCready. And plus he can make them. <laughs> <laughs> He's got 21. And we're looking to get to Corey McGetty out of Chicago. Kemp just tore it right away. I don't know, McGetty thought he was going to go through him. I know that he didn't think he could get around. So. That shot was blocked in, but that shows you his length right there. Holy cow. From here, I didn't think there was any way he was going to get. I thought he was going to finger roll it like George Durbin. <laughs> something else. Wow. Now, I got to check the trampoline floor right down there. That, that's an illegal floor. Look at that outside. That's almost from the free throw line. That's incredible. And you got a seven-footer there. What, Michael or Candy? Stick your hand up. Well, I tell you, you give Miller credit, even though he made that, Miller was the only one, you know, really that contested that as far as lengthwise. Definitely think the Clippers have to start to put little wrinkles in their defense. They're being too passive now. They're playing at home. They've got to change the pace of this game. Rebound by Hill. This is not supposed to be a good rebounding team, but they've not rebounded them by six so far. And they're doing a good job. And I think that Sean Kemp and Andrew DeKirk have had a lot to do with that in the minutes that they've played of establishing that in their defense. Oh, what a shot! McCready is on fire with 27 points. And a timeout taken. He's fun to watch. I need to watch him every night. Leading score in the NBA, 17-point Orlando lead, which is the biggest lead tonight for the Magic. And John, he's done most of it from the perimeter because he's been double teamed so much tonight. He's taken that last one to the hole, but see, when he becomes a great shooter, I mean, that's just unfair. That guy can do everything. He can post up, he can score, he can create for his teammates, and uh, when he starts knocking down that perimeter shot, it's, it's unbelievable. Strong with seven for Orlando, 16 for Olawa Candy, and 11 rebounds for Brand. He leads everyone in rebounding tonight. McGetty. The clock inside, shot clock at three, 41% as well from the floor. Well, the shots are getting blocked everywhere. You look right here, uh, McGrady goes up and knocks. Seconds to shoot, Doolin. Flying in Wilcox, the 30 foot at three. He played on that NCAA championship team last season at Maryland. And without all the dramatics, if you tap the ball, you got a basket right there. Garrity for three. He's got man went back. They're trying to pick up full court after many baskets, which they should do. But in the same token, everybody's got to do it. Shot clock at nine. Tracy McGrady, 29 points. Screened by the clerk. McGrady is doubled. Shot clock at seven. Make a move and a shot over McGinty. Good. McGrady, 12 of 24 in 31 points. He's shooting that ball. Man, all right. Last time Barnes took in that one, 
uh, McGarrity was a little late because they rotated it to him too long. His brand. He laughing. He just called him McGarrity too. <laughs> It is. It's easy to do in this game. McGinney, McGrady, McGinney. Eight turnovers by Orlando in this fourth quarter. 15 for the game. And McCready slashing inside 33 points to lead all scores. And a timeout for the Clippers with two and a half to play. Oh, McGarrity. <laughs> Well, this is not the game we expect, to be quite honest, Orlando. But three right there, and Grant Hill has 17, seven of which have been authored in this fourth quarter. 